She came running to our door. It was a bloody call for help at 2 o'clock in the morning. She was knocking on it like crazy. You can hear the banging. Christy Mack kicked, beaten, and bloodied. Her hair sawed off with a dull knife. She says John Coppenhaver used in an attack that was both violent and too graphically sexual to explain on television. When she arrived at her neighbor's door, she was naked. You couldn't even tell that it was a woman. All he saw suddenly was someone at the door, like, creeping up the window, and he just saw hair and, like, a mangled mess. Deshanka Geraldo's family put clothes on Mac and called police. It was then that they say... Well, my mother immediately called the cops, and they hung up on her. Even Christy tried calling the cops as well, and they hung up on her, too. Finally, police did respond, but they say enough time passed that John Coppenhaver had made his escape into the night. It took the cops like 15 to 20 minutes to get to our neighborhood, which is just way too long. I mean, that's that's crazy. We had an emergency here. News 3 reached out to Metro about the allegations of hanging up on the calls for help and got no response. While police hunt, Christy Mack's mother tells News 3 John Coppenhaver is a monster. He does not have a human core. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't have empathy or sympathy. Coppenhaver with a history of violence dating back years, according to court records, including violence against a woman in a separate strangulation case. Reason why those who live in this neighborhood are haunted by the photos of the battered woman. They want Coppenhaver caught.